So now that we have the Ignition Designers open, uh, I can switch over and I'll show you what the front end part looks like in there. But before I do that, I'll jump over to the Ignition Gateway web pages here where you do the basic configuration, show you how easy it is to connect up to databases. A lot of platforms that are out there have the ability to connect to databases, but often it's done through scripting, it's done through um, kind of convoluted methods where you might be pointing at specific records in different ways. With Ignition, it's built right into the platform. Uh, when we built the platform, we were looking at both database integration and um, PLC and tag-based communication as key points for how we do communication. Um, so you can see right over here, we have a couple of database connections here. If I went to create a new database connection and come in, I can select from existing drivers. If I happen to have a database, a SQL-based database that is outside of this list, I can load in another driver. Uh, that's very easy to do. And let's say I had Microsoft SQL Server, or I have MySQL or Oracle. I can pick any of these guys. Um, I'll pick Microsoft SQL Server, and then we could call this uh, my production database and give it an IP address that we were connecting to. And um, then we have username and password authentication, of course. Um, and then we're set up. So that's going to go through, it'll connect. Um, if that's a valid connection, then that'll show up there. And if we switch over to the designer, we now get that information inside the designer. Uh, as mentioned, we have a few other databases already connected. So right inside the designer, I have some tools. Those tools are going to allow us access to the database tables that are there behind the scenes. If I create a new window inside Ignition, and in this case, I'm going to drag a table out onto the screen here. Um, this is UI design. I can come in and I can bind this information for that data. Um, so as I mentioned, I have two different designers open. Um, this designer is set up on one system. This is set up on another system. This one happens to be with the database tables that I was just looking at. So I'll switch over to this guy. And uh, then I will browse those database tables uh, from right here. And once again, that power table, drag it out onto the screen. Over here on the left-hand side, grab data, do a binding, and I can browse the database right there. So I can see my production database that I just set up, another Microsoft SQL database, a demo database, um, and then I'll come in here and take a look at the data that's contained within. This is browsing down to the database tables. If I click on any of these, I get the information right here, a small little preview. Uh, that gives me uh, basic information uh, about what's inside there. And if I pull from a table, let's say I want to pull from inventory in this case, I can uh, just say I want, okay, give me everything in inventory, and that'll give it to me right there on the screen um, on the fly. If you have a, anyone who is a real database expert, um, they'll probably notice that this auto-generates some uh, database selection right down here at the bottom. You can modify this if you want. If you have somebody who's uh, really advanced, who knows SQL, they can come in and they can type in whatever their their uh, SQL query is directly there um, rather than using the built-in GUI here. Um, but the GUI is pretty nice. Uh, and if we take a look at the reporting, um, you'll notice inside these reports, you can actually have it build your queries for you. So you can come in, a new SQL query, and then this is a builder. So it'll let us browse all of these different tables. You can pull these out, show these side by side. And so this is a log table, and then this is my inventory right here. And maybe uh, some of these pieces tie to each other. So in this case, I have a dairy log index that I'm gonna tie to my inventory ID right there. Click and drag, um, say I want a name and a description, and discharge pressure uh, from the results right here, and this builds it out for you. So it does the join, it does the all the things behind the scenes that you might not necessarily need to know or you might not know, um, but it's going to build it out and then you're going to get the results of this and be able to use it directly inside a report, whether that be a compliance type of report or a, you know tag history type of report, uh, anything that, uh, anywhere that you wanna use this, you can use it. And as you can see, inside this demo project that I have uh, pulled up, 
We have a few other examples of what this looks like. Um, someone else has that open. Uh, we have multi-designer support, which we weren't even going to mention, but it's pretty nice. You can have multiple different users inside the designers at the same time, uh, and it will protect the resources. So that's what it just told me right there. Someone else has this database manipulation window open. Um, so I'm gonna wait for them to finish it. And so instead of doing that, I just opened a copy. Uh, but we can take a look right here, and this is just using that behind the scenes. And you've got add, move, search, delete, edit, and uh, just pulls from database tables here as well. 